How you doing? And welcome to another vlog from Narrowboat Super V. The next bit of filming you're about to see was done about three weeks ago, and it's to do with a water tank. It's just taken a lot longer than I thought. I'm still only hopping through it now. The reason it's been so long is because I got in, emptied out the water tank, did a bit of filming, and then I had a self isolate for ten days because I got pinged. So that's 10 days that I couldn't do anything, then I was at work, and then of course the weather was just so hot, it was just pointless being in there because it was like a sweating bucket. So this is just one half of the video now that will show you, tank's been emptied, half cleaned out. Um, as I say from the film coming up you'll see what gunge was in there. I've got to decide whether I'm just going to paint it out or if I'm going to put another tank in. We'll only use this water tank for washing up, for showering, and what we'll do is we'll just fill up the water points with uh, bold water, uh, containers full of water. Um, if we was full time liverboard, then we'd have, to have a rethink on it. So I'll leave you to it, doing, see how it's going. Uh, as you can see, we're in the well deck at the moment. Uh, probably not the best day to be in the, the well deck. It's like a sun trap, and uh, it's getting quite warm. What I want to do is obviously blow here, there's the water tank, get this lid up, inspect the water tank, see what it's like, see if it needs either replacing or cleaning out or painting out, because um, at the moment we're using bottled water. We could use this water for uh, showers and washing up and things like that. What I can do is um, when I fill the tank up, bang some Milton in it, some liquid Milton, uh, Rinse that through, fill it up a couple of times, empty it out. But I thought I'd just get this lid up and um, see what's beneath. As you can see, I've uh, been using a socket set to get these on. Now, at first, they won't fit because that's all been mastic. That's well, not mastic, that's all that's like a bitumen. So, what you've got to do is just scrape away around the nut, around the bolt, even until you can get a good fix on there and then it's going to start undoing. Once you get it on, it's going to come off quite easy. It's getting it on where the bitumen has built up a couple of layers and you can't quite get it on. You could try hammering it down but I don't really want to do that and damage this. So for now it's just scraping away at this. So I'll uh, crack on with that and uh, see how we go. So as you can see I've scraped around most of the bolts just used an old chisel but right in there because the bitumen was coming right up and you couldn't get the socket set on it. I scraped all around there. These are all loose now because I've undone these. And make sure you scrape all around the edge this part of the lid and here and then get it all hoovered up because you don't want to lift this up and get all these bits falling in. That's making the job even longer for you. So we'll crack on now and uh, next time I see you hopefully we'll have this lid off. This water tank has proven to be very difficult. All these nuts are out. Two stubborn ones. So it's time to bring out the big burfer. Let's have a go with this. Right, so the idea on the grinder was to try and grind the slot in there and use it as like a screw so I can just get the screwdriver in and undo it, but it didn't happen. So I had to grind both off. And now what we'll do, we'll have a look at this, probably the first time this has been open in years. <sighs> Crikey old some water, isn't it? Right. Okay, where do you start? Okay, let's get emptying it out. Look all the sediment on the bottom. Didn't realise the tank, the water tank, was so bloody big. Okay, get the trunks on. Right, well that's the majority of the water out. Let's have a quick look in there. All oh, that sludge, a lot of that scraped up myself. What do you think? What do you 
see the state, and that's probably about just half inch deep now, that's all that's left in there. And what I'm going to do is get the rest out by uh, using nappies. I got a tip from Narrowboat Meredith, use some nappies, put them in there, soak it up. That noise you can hear is uh, a boat being sandblasted. So there we go. We'll come back to that when I get the nappies. That's what we're after. Pack of nappies. Down there, soak up that water. Right, so there we go. Nappies in there, soaking that up. Doesn't take many. Leave that 10 15 minutes and I should do the job. And I'll just say no babies were harmed during the filming of this vlog. One thing I noticed when I was bailing the water out, and bailing the water out, yeah, sounds like I was sinking. Uh, you lose some weight at the front of the boat, obviously, because uh, quite a lot of water came out, quite a few gallons. And if you transfer that into pounds or kilos, that's a lot of weight that's come off the front of the boat. And then the boat was tilting like this, and it was like walking up the aisle of an aircraft that's just taken off. I'll just check at the back end that uh, any outlets there weren't going below the water. I'll put the photos up now, and you can see that's how much weight we lost, where the water line was and where it is now and where the, uh, the top of the rudder was sticking out of the water a few inches and that's submerged now. Well then nappies have done the job. There's a lot of scraping today. I don't know how well we can see that. And that is what's in the bottom of a water tank. Do you really want to drink from that? You can tell it's when you're there, everything's knocking about. Well I'm going to crack on with the uh, scraping now. Get it all out, get a good clean out. And then uh, I think I'll paint the inside of the tank. It's a, it's a little bit of work to do. So this is what we've come back to. It's been emptied out. This has been sat like this now for, as I said in the introduction, um, at least a couple of weeks. It's dried out really well. You can see that's all that's come out. It cleans up quite nice with a wide brush. So what we're going to do today is get it all cleaned out, get a wide brush on it, uh, prime it, and then paint it. And. Uh, We'll get back to you later on and see how it goes. And there's the nappies that we used for uh, soaking up some of the water, so it's not for an abandoned baby. And then I was asked some time ago why this tissue is around there. Um, simple reason, I've just not took it off yet, we've not used the fire. There's a leak from the outside and it's running down here and going across there and leaving it all stained up. Got it all cleaned off, got it painted put this tissue around and left it until we had a good few downpours and uh, touch wood that stayed dry so that sealant round the top there has done its job there's no other way of doing this no other way around it you've got to get in using nappies as uh, knee pads double gloved mask I should have trained as a contortionist could probably still do it see you later well not all done but uh, I've got to come out for a breather that's what's coming out. Well, Karen's scraping. I'm sure there's a film called that, Karen scraping. Hoover it all out. And uh, shall we go from there? And we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so that's the last lot to come out. You can see what it's like. It's a lot easier to scrape up than it looks once it dries. So I just need the hoover in there now and see how we go from there. Okay, that's it for this one. Um, 
part two, I shall uh, get it all painted out, painted out, sealed off, filled up, empty it out, fill it up again, and then we should be good to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.